now that we've we've addressed the wheel section of the arteria key step, I want to give you guys a rundown of the sequencer and the arpeggiator. Now, an extremely important note about, about the arteria key step is that the arpeggiator and the sequencer transmit MIDI data into the Novation circuit. So when I have a sequence running, you will see that transmitted on the notes of the circuit. It doesn't take much imagination to realize that because of that, you could program a ARP or a sequence on this thing, have it run, and then wait for the appropriate time and record it into your circuit. It makes for a fantastic sketchboard before programming it into the circuit because if you've spent any time with this device, you know that it can be a little tricky to get the timing appropriate for inputting sequences into the Novation circuit. I'm gonna show you guys how the ARP functions work first. I'm gonna have the ARP setting turned on here, which is clicking this position down. And just so you know, if I press the play button here, uh, it'll activate the arteria key step because they're linked up. And the arteria key step is receiving MIDI transmission, MIDI data from the Novation circuit. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna set this at order here. And when I press play here, it's going to activate the arteria key step too. So we're gonna get, we're gonna press play here. Now I have the key step currently set at MIDI channel one. So if I just press, down to get that pattern going and then let go. And you'll also see that the Novation circuit is triggering those that note information on the Novation circuit. So since I've got that pattern going, three, four, two, three, four, and then I can press stop here. to the Novation Circuit. So I think one of people's biggest complaints about the Novation Circuit is that it doesn't have a built-in arpeggiator. Well, there you go. You, you, just, you just overcame that problem with the arteria key step, right? So if I press play here on the circuit, it's going to play back, it's going to play back that pattern. So yeah, there you go. So I love that you can do that with the arteria key step. Now, something else to note is that once you've got that pattern put in, assuming your current setting is polyphonic and not monophonic, you can then jam on top of it with the arteria key step. Uh, maybe taking it up an octave and then jamming on top of that ARP. Or if you have, if you've programmed some chordal changes, uh, you can you can then jam on top of it. So there's something to keep in mind. Now I'm gonna take this over to synth two and we're gonna shift the MIDI channel to channel two. All right, and I'm gonna quickly um, program a sequence into the arteria key step here. So we're gonna flip this switch up to sequence and if I press the record button here, it'll start doing a step sequence. And I'm just going to record in a few notes. All right, Let's see how that sounds like. It's not bad, okay? So let's try that with the Novation circuit. So I want to make sure that you guys can see that the MIDI data is being transmitted into the circuit in the same way that the ARP was. So there, you can see it. Now, uh, I also want to point out the that you can program rests into the arteria key step. So um, I know that what I programmed in was just like a simple uh, pattern that had no rests in it. Uh, but you can see that it, it's getting a really kind of cool pattern going. Now that I've got that pattern programmed in there, I'm gonna flip this back down to ARP 
and I'm going to take that as an off so that the sequence isn't playing. And then I'm going to press play again here and see what we got. So yeah, that doesn't, doesn't sound too bad for a little jam. So let's just, uh, you know, do a little jam here. So, so I think that both of the synthesizer settings that I currently have on the Novation circuit are monophonic. So I'm actually going to play around a little bit with the sounds here until I get a nice polyphonic sound. And then I'm going to I'm going to just do a tad bit of jamming here just to kind of round out the lesson and bring everything together. Because I want to show you guys that once you've got a nice jam going on your circuit, uh, you can still play around on the arterial key step and get some more sonic layers going. I'm going to make sure that this sequencer is turned off because I'm going to be doing a little bit of jamming here. And then this pad is actually a pretty nice uh, polyphonic sound, so I'm going to switch over to that one. That's pretty good. I'm going to switch up to the sequence here so that I'm not arpeggiating while I'm jamming. So yeah, there you go. I mean, it wasn't perfect. It definitely not polished, but it definitely demonstrates that all of the possibilities with this combination. Now, I have had a ton of fun with the Arteria Key Step and the Novation Circuit, and I think that anyone who is looking to get into electronic music production and music production in general, but they really don't know where to start, this combination is the perfect way to enter into this world. So, yeah, if you have the Novation Circuit and you're looking to expand the functionality a little bit, or if you are looking into the Novation Circuit as a first instrument and you're a little bit concerned about a little bit of the lacking functionality that the Novation Circuit, pairing it with the Arteria Key Step is a fantastic combination to, you know, take what you can get out of the Novation Circuit to the next level. So yeah, that's about it for the day. If you guys have any questions or, or feedback, please let me know, and I will see you guys in the next lesson. Thanks. Bye.